Hi, my name is Kamel. I have lived in the UK, in England, for 20 years. I came to Trowbridge with uh, French qualifications from my homeland. Uh, fortunately, um, I couldn't find a job with French qualifications. And unfortunately, also, uh, during that time, there was a recession. So I decided to study and study hard. And since I've gained over 30 uh, qualifications, uh, mainly professionally, um, in the field of IT and sports. My integration in society started while I was working for the Youth and Community Services as a youth worker. Uh, I was seconded to the social services to uh, look after young boys with behavioural issues. That was a very rewarding experience, but also gave me the opportunity to understand society better. Um, so that, that was a, a key point for me to get really involved in the community and start working with the community. As a Muslim in this country and perhaps identifying myself as a proud Muslim helped me to not encounter any you know, prejudice and, and, and 20 years without you know, experiencing any racist attack. That for me is a huge bonus. But I know it, it exists, and many of my friends, and we hear it or on the news that many people have been attacked due to the fact uh, they are Muslims. Islam is a way of life, and uh, I treat it as a way of life, it's not just a religion. And this is defined uh, of my, within my life as being a married man with two children, I've got responsibility towards my family. I've got a job and I go to work and I've got responsibilities that I need to fill. And I've got my friends who also share some of my times. And all of this is, uh, is um, dealt with and um, managed with the rules and guidance of Islam. After the 9-11 and the 7-7 attacks, things have changed drastically and many uh, incidents happened around me, not towards me directly, but around me. And unfortunately, the media are inflaming issues about Islam, and often they um, call Islam Islamic terrorist or Islamic terrorism, uh, and that is so wrong. There's no terrorism in Islam. Yes, there are Muslims who are terrorists, like you find Christian terrorists, uh, but there's no terrorism in Christianity. Why I see people not uh, by the, the color of their skin, of the, their language, I see people, uh, how they contribute to society. Uh, for example, uh, my relationship with my line manager is absolutely fantastic. Uh, he's atheist, I'm a Muslim. He doesn't push his beliefs towards me. I don't do the same either. I don't I never you know, tell him that he needs to embrace Islam. Uh, we've got a wonderful relationship. Uh, really, it's based on a verse in, in our Holy Quran, which says in Arabic, Lakum deenukum waliyadeen, which means you've got your religion and I've got mine. And it's, it's mainly based on mutual respect and understanding and just being human with each other. The message is very simple and clear. Before you make a judgment on anything, regardless whether it's about faith, religion or identity, the least you must do is to find out about it. Like that, you make a sound judgment. Thank you for listening.